Hey, Lazy Gilder Proof Fam. I am back today with another wig review. This is a brand new Bobby Boss wig that came out this week. So I'm super excited. And of course, it's in a fun color. So let's take a look at what it is. It is this lady in HL Perp Green, this color right here. So it is MLF 259 Amy. 13 by 4 HD glueless deep lace wig. Let's see what else it says. It has a meta fresh cap, glueless wear, HD transparent lace, flex fit cap, 13 by 4 hand tied lace, meta fresh again, <laughs> flawless, free parting, free styling, pre plucked hairline, natural baby hairs. And it was, I got it on Shop Hair Wigs for $35.99. Most of the sites have it now. So I would just shop around. I'll put a link to this one that I got, um, but shop around and see which, which site has the best deal. Uh, and there's a bunch of Labor Day sales this weekend. So check those out. Um, so I already recorded this video before and the audio sounded like I was in a tin can. I figured out what the problem was, but I can't un box and put the lace back on the wig so we're gonna start with just showing you the card um without you know not the packaging not not the hair inside and then you know go on as usual so let's get to it all right so here is the card Oop. and here is the lovely lady herself She is a gorgeous, gorgeous, I'll say it's like a dark emerald, dark green, and a indigo purple, maybe? And here's the inside of the cap. It's got two combs in the front, one in the back, and it is that meta fresh cap, and of course it has the adjustable straps. So let's get her on the head. All right, she's on my head. I cannot find my wig grip, grip cap. So I have a regular wig cap on. And let me tell you, I don't know how y'all be getting them on so easy. Or maybe you don't, because a lot of people don't show putting the wig cap on. Maybe that's why. It just... Hmm. I finally can put my hair in a baby, baby, baby ponytail today, so that will be helpful. All right, so this is what she is looking like out of the package. Um, she is a very left side part. Um, I've got the ear tabs lined up to where they should be, uh, and she's pretty far. This, this, let me see. This should be the middle right here. So she's. She's a pretty lefty. Um, obviously, you could spin her and spin her <laughs> uh, and put her where you want, but then the ear tabs won't line up. Um, so first impression, she's super cute. She is a dark green and a indigo-ish purple. Uh, my two favorite colors are teal and purple, so I am loving this. I wasn't sure how the purple and green mix, how they were going to do it. What does this say? HL. So HL is, is, I'm assuming highlight. Usually it'll be like face framing because that's technically what this is, is around the face. So I don't know. You never know what you're going to get until you see it in person, which is half of why I do these reviews so you guys can see whether you want to spend your money or not so this is what she's looking like i i'm not going to comb through really very much just a really at the top making her a little you know i don't know what the words are but i don't want to comb this out so but she's got a little bit of, you know, untameness here. So let's see if I can get that down. Okay. So she 
is definitely a throw on and go or cut the lace off throw on and go um she's got the free parting space um but i think with this style i don't know that i would i'll try it in a second just to see um but that parting space i mean technically it's not a parting space because you can part it anywhere but where it comes you know out of the package is really good um as always with hd lace the knots are pretty apparent so you know i don't mind it i never have anybody call me out on it when i'm out um but again i don't get real close to people so you could definitely um put some powder on the free parting space to blend it in or you know whatever you do to blend it in or hide them you could but it's for me not a necessity the hairline it did say pre-plucked it is pre-plucked more than a lot of them when they say they're pre-plucked or just in general um you know it's still thick you know if you were pre-plucking it yourself it would it wouldn't be this thick here but you know it is not a thick right at the beginning hairline so it is technically pre-plucked there are some baby hairs so they're baby hairs kind of on the sides it looks like i don't see any in the middle but there's some there all in all i think uh she is a a good wig um let me test the big head friendliness she feels small oh man okay so She's at my nape and this is as far if you've watched any of my videos usually especially with bobby boss i can pull it all the way down to here so there's that much of a difference in in the cap is smaller that much more than the normal bobby boss so there's that um it is a meta fresh cap so it is stretchy so i'm not saying you can't get a big head in it just be aware it is smaller than the usual bobby boss caps um the ear tabs let's see they're okay so they're kind of riding high like a far you know back so you would have to pull it down and remember i have an average to small small to average head so if you're wanting to lay this down it's going to be quite a stretch and there's really only so much stretch you can do so also keep that in mind um let's get a 360 of her and go from there Okay, so that was the 360. I went back and looked at it. I don't see anything wrong like the, the wig cap showing or anything like that. It does look like she probably should be brushed um, and maybe some coconut oil put in there. It is looking a little dry on camera and probably needs to be a little filled out here. Let me just do that real quick. I don't want to brush her curls out, but... yeah that's fine that feels better um and then i'll put some coconut oil in her let's just do that real quick and i still owe you a parting of the <laughs> free parting space if you will to see what she'd look like with a different part oh yeah much better Oop. Yes. 
Okay. This is still bugging me. <laughs> it's like it just got separated from its curl partner and doesn't want to sit still. Yeah, curl partner. Yep. Yeah. So that is better, I think. I think. Yeah. Looks more. Um. What is the word? I don't know what the word is, you guys. Okay. So let's try to part her elsewhere and see what she looks like. do this while I'm looking in a closer mirror <laughs> trying to look at the faraway mirror it is not doing it but yeah. so it's harder with these so if you wanted to part this somewhere else like so let, let's say you want to make it a right side part you would for sure have to um, uh, train it you know just like you do with your, your natural hair, if you want to change that part that you've been wearing that way for however long, you kind of have to flat, you know, either flat iron it or put some heat on it and train it. So no different here, but it's doable. I mean, it's cute. It's cute on the other side. If this, you know, you could get this tame. Let's try a middle part. if she'll do it it's not the same as with straight wigs straight wigs are easy with a free parting space these you know waves or whatever you want to call it just seem to have a mind of their own same thing <laughs> it just does what it wants yeah i mean so if you want to part it somewhere else it is not lazy at all you're gonna have to train it so there's that <laughs> there's that which is fine but I would say if you don't like a left side part if you get this you're gonna have to put some work in but she's gorgeous like just redoing the that kind of replaced the colors so you know um, and keep in mind, again, she's not super big head friendly, and these ear tabs are very small on the, the short side. So if you want to lay her down, it's going to take a little work. So let me know what you guys think. She is a lazy girl approved thumbs up um, if you just want to keep her, you know, how she is out of the package. Just a little coconut oil and a quick comb through, um, and she's good to go. She's a gorgeous colors, $35.99. I mean, I think it's a good price for these colors and this style's cute. And Bobby Boss always does great with the color combos. It looks like there's some like navy blues maybe in here along with the green. So it's kind of like a peacockish vibe. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. And as always, thanks for hanging out with me today. And I will see you again soon. I'm about to do another one of the new Bobby Boss reviews. So see you soon.